Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here? And what we have here, this follows when we have a raised to power m plus n, which is the same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. And this here, this becomes 8 raised to power x times 8 squared, which is equals to 72 on this side. And next step, we have 8 is to power x times a squared a times h as 64 equals to 72 here which implies here yeah, we divide both sides by 64 divide this side by 64 also divide this side by 64 that is 64 cancel each other here which implies we have a trace to power x left then equals to 72 over 64 here then next step, uh, this is the same thing as 8 raised to power x equals to here, you can write 72 as 8 times 9 and 64 as 8 times 8, which implies here 8 cancel each other and we have 8 raised to power x then equals to 9 over 8 here. That is next step here. Take the log on both sides, that is, we have log. 8 raised to power x equals to log 9 over 8 on this side. Next step here we apply the power of log room. When we have log m raised to power p, this is same thing as p log m. That is, what we have here becomes x log 8 equals to log 9 over 8. That is, next step here, we divide both sides by log 8. That is, divide this side by log 8. Also, divide this side by log 8. That is, here, log 8 cancel each other. We have x left, which is equal to log 9 over 8 divided by log 8. All we have here follows from the law of logarithm. When we have log a over b, this is the same thing as log a minus log b. And all we have becomes x equals to log 9 minus log 8 over log 8. And from here, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 9 over log 8 minus log 8 over log 8. That is here, log 8 cancelled each other. We have one left, which implies x equals to log 9 over log 8 minus one and also here yeah, we can rewrite nine as three times three which is three square and eight as two times two times two which is two cube then what we have becomes x equals to log three square over log two cube minus one then here we apply the power of logarithm. 2 comes here and 3 comes here, and we have x equals to 2 log 3 over 3 log 2 minus 1, which implies we can rewrite this and we have x equals to 2 over 3 multiplied by log 3 over log 2 minus 1. When we apply change of base, and when we have log a over log b, which can be written as log a to base b, then what we have here becomes x equals to 2 over 3 multiplied by log 3 to base 2 minus 1. 
and this is also one over one when you bring it together as one fraction we have x now equals to the scm here as three then up here we have to log three base two then minus three on this side then the value of x here we have two log three base two minus three or lower three then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem that is we substitute the value of x here which is x equals to 2 log 3 is 2 minus 3 all over 3 that is what we have here becomes 8 raised to power 2 log 3 base 2 minus 3 all over 3 then we have plus 2 is it equals to 72 on this side then here it is 2 over 1 that is we have 8 raised to power s here here is 3 and we still have 2 log 3 base 2 minus 3 then plus 6 here now is equals to 72 on this side that is from here 6 minus 3 that's 3 and we can write this as 8 raised to power 3 plus 2 log 3 base 2 all over 3 is it equals to 72 on this side and next step also this can be expressed as 2 raised to power 3 which is raised to power 3 plus 2 log 3 base 2 all over 3 is it equals to 72 on this side then this power multiplies 3 here cancel each other we are left with 2 base to power 3 plus 2 log 3 base 2 is it equals to 72 on this side then we apply the law of indices here when we have a raised to power n plus n this same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n which implies here yeah, we have 2 raised to power 3 times 2 raised to power 2 log 3 base 2 is it equals to 72 on this side 2 raised to power 3 multiply itself 3 times that's 8 then times here we reverse this to from power log that is we have 2 raised to power log 3 square base 2 is it equals to 72 on this side and this is same thing as 8 times 2 raised to power log 3 squared, that's 9, this 2 is equals to 72 here. That is, this follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a, which is equals to b. That is, here, we have 9. 8 times 9 is equals to 72 here. And of course, 8 times 9 gives us 72, which is equals to 72 on this side. And hence, we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 2 log 3 base 2 minus 3 all over 3 satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget the steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comment. See you next class. Bye. For now.